here's a big pink bundle. What do you think this big pink, pink bundle of spindle cells is? It looks like a huge nerve. Good. Yeah, big pink, uh, pink fascicles of spindle cells. Dr. Rowe, one of my greatest mentors in surgical pathology, taught me there's three things. He always liked to teach three. He said it's either nerve, it's smooth muscle, or it's dense regular connective tissue, which is tendon fascia ligament, like we saw earlier with the ramen noodle sign. So nerve, people like to talk about nerve and neural lesions as being wavy. And look, this is a nerve, right? And it is, it is wavy, but look, this is like gently undulating. That's the word I like to use. Look, mm -hmm. it's up and down, big waves, like the wave of the sea, not like the crinkly ramen noodle stuff we looked at earlier. The other thing, and the, perhaps the best and most helpful thing, is that when you see something that you think might be a nerve, and it's this, like a normal nerve, not talking about tumors, but and it's this big, a big massive thing. I'm on 10x subjective here, and this thing takes up, you know, a decent bit of the field. This is probably like uh, five. It's probably like a half a. I guess it's probably about half of a millimeter or more wide. So a pr pretty small, I guess, in the grand scheme of things. But for a, a microscope, it's a pretty good sized nerve, right? Mm -hmm. um, when a nerve's this big, you should be able to see some myelinated axons. All right. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing. Little tiny nerves in the dermis, you often don't see any myelin, so it can be harder to tell those apart from other things. Here, usually the myelin's a little prettier. This one's like kind of a little bit uh, bubbly, mm -hmm. but you can see all the little areas there. Usually it's a little bit more crisp than this and not so bubbly, but you can see all the myelin there um, in those nerves. And usually you'll actually see like the little, the little axon in the middle and the vertical incisures of Lanterman Schmidt and all those features uh, that you see in normal nerve. And then you also see nice perineurium around it. See, there's a layer of perineurium wrapping around the nerve. All right, so we've got nerve. So if a nerve looks like gently undulating fibers and fascia looks like instant ramen noodles, what is uh, smooth muscle? Smooth muscle, that's a great question. Let me see if I got any right here to show. Actually, hold on, let me look. Okay, look, here we found one. This was an unusual pilar lyomama that had had atypia but otherwise looked benign kind of an unusual case but the uh this is the kind of fascicle pattern that you see in smooth muscle both normal smooth muscle and so these are kind of recapitulating erector pili muscle this is a pilar type smooth muscle tumor and the cells are usually don't have much waviness although sometimes they can i've seen exceptions i've seen ones that got squiggly and wavy and the nuclei have those elongated cells that are smooth and rounded on both ends usually. People, you know, say cigar-shaped cells, right? And the other thing I find really helpful is that you look, the, 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 um, all of the pink here is due to the contractile filaments inside the muscle cells, right? Um, and it's not actually collagen. A lot of the other stuff, the pink we're seeing is some background collagen, particularly like in dense regular connective tissue. Whereas in smooth muscle, the pink is all like contractile actin desmond filaments and other contractile filaments. And the color is quite different than like collagen. Look at the dermal collagen at the top, how bright pink that is up here. Mm -hmm. And the kind of paler pink color of the smooth muscle. So that with practice, you can begin to tell. And again, ignore the atypia here. That's a little complicated and outside what we're talking about. But you can begin to tell um, smooth muscle from collagen from nerve. And in the dermis, if you see something this big, it's pr almost certainly going to be a bundle of smooth muscle, right? Because nerves are rarely this big up in the dermis in normal situations. In fact, if we go around here, let's find a nerve for comparison. So sometimes that can be very helpful, is if you're deciding, is it perineural invasion or not? You can, um, you do want to be able to tell smooth muscle from a nerve because, you know, Tumor wrapping around smooth muscle doesn't mean anything. Tumor wrapping around nerve uh, does. So here's a little nerve right here. See that? This is the size of the nerve that we have in the dermis, and the smooth muscle bundles we were looking at were, look, huge compared to that, way bigger. And how do you know it's a nerve? Well, we can look for perineurium is one thing we can do. That's a nerve right there. That's a, probably that same nerve we were looking at up there, which has come down further. Here's more of it, and it's just kind of, going back and forth in and out of the section. It's right next to vessels too. So usually when you find the nerve, if you want to find the nerve, go look for the vessels. And in that little bundle of, of uh, artery, little arterioles and venules, you're going to find a little nerve running right next to it.
So that's, that's an example.